Welcome back to the channel. My name's Nolan. In today's video, I have got the 100 mile per hour Traxxas Slash project out with me, and we're gonna do a top speed test. So if you missed out on the last video, we made a couple changes. Most notably, we swapped over from 32 pitch gears over to mod one. So last video, we are pretty much topped out on speed. Uh, I was running a 34 tooth pinion with a 52 spur gear for the 32 pitch. I swapped over to a huge 35 tooth pinion and 40 tooth mod one spur gear. So I think what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go out for a shakedown run on 6S uh, with the body off, just in case I have to bring it in and pull that lipo out really quick. Cause my main concern is we could have a fire. I've actually had a Spectrum Firma start on fire in the past. So that's why I don't wanna get this uh, Bugatti Chiron body on and get it taped up and then you know have a fire under there. My other concern, which is probably more likely is just that the ESC is gonna cut power, which is a very real possibility running a huge 35 tooth pinion with a 42 spur gear. Uh, if that does happen, I did come prepared with another pinion. So I've actually got a smaller 30 tooth pinion right here we can put on. And then hopefully if it does cut, it won't cut with that. But uh, otherwise I think everything else is the same. Oh, I did change something else. I did the fuel line hack on the front shocks same as what I did on the rear to limit uh, the travel. Uh, Cause one issue we've had on all the speed runs is this front splitter hits the ground and it ends up breaking off, which is why I've re-glued it many times with Gorilla Glue. So this limits that from uh, squatting down and hopefully touching the pavement. Alrighty guys, I've got the uh, lipo in. I've also got the GPS hooked up on the back. Let me get her turned on and we'll get her on the road and see if this ESC is gonna cut or if it's actually gonna allow us to reach a top speed record. Let's take her down to right about there. All right, it's looking clear, and let's go for a test pass. I think it cut. Yep, it cut and it turned off. So let's get down to it. Yeah, you hear the cogging? I'm trying to give it throttle right now. ESC does not like that. All right, we'll take her to the side, and uh, I suppose we'll uh, swap over to the 30 tooth. Probably didn't even get up to half throttle before it decided to cut the power. But just for fun, let's see what we picked up. All right, so that first pass, we only reached 58 miles per hour. So let me get that 30 tooth in, get the gear mesh and everything adjusted, and. Uh, then we'll uh, try it out again and hopefully we don't have cutting issues with the 30 tooth. All right guys, so I was about to take this pinion off when I realized that this motor wire, I think the blue one, actually came unplugged. So I did not notice that. So the cogging might not have had anything to do with the pinion gear. This might have just come unplugged and that's why we uh, lost all power. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the 35 tooth pinion on there. We're gonna get that 6L back in and we're gonna go for another um, uh, test run and see if it does it again or if we're good to go for a top speed pass. So let's take her down to right about there. All right, and here we go. Nope, most definitely cut it again. Yep. That's definitely a limp mode. Oh my gosh, the ESC's like tripping out. Yeah, that's definitely a limp mode. So uh, we're gonna have to switch over to 32 pitch, or sorry, to the 32. Not sure if we went any faster. Don't know if we really got any more power down than uh, about 50%. Let's see what we got. Nope. Only picked up 54, so let me get that 30 tooth pinion swapped over and we'll give her another shot. Alrighty guys, I am back and I've got the 30 tooth pinion swapped over. So this is now a 30 tooth pinion with a 42 spur gear. 
Um, and I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put in the two three cell packs that are freshly charged. Uh, two of these 5200 milliamp ADC discharge rate three cell RC hacker packs. And I think I will tape the body up. I don't think we're gonna go for a test run because I don't have a backup plan. So it's either gonna work with the 30 tooth or it's gonna shut off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the GPS zeroed out, uh, tape back on, get the two three cell packs in, get the body taped up on the sides and on the front. And it's too cold, I can't cross my fingers. But if I could, I'd be crossing my fingers because hopefully uh, we don't have any issues. So uh, let me go ahead, get those batteries in, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, here goes nothing. All right, take her down to right about there, and here we go for a pass. Sounds like it cut our power again. We got a little bit more than half, but... Yep, it's not moving. We cut the power, but I maybe got up to two-thirds throttle, I'd say. That's a bummer. Yeah, I'm trying to give it throttle now. Nothing. All right, we're good. Get her back to the side of the Jeep. GPS is still on. We'll see what we picked up. Gosh, I picked a bad day for this. It's cold out. It's cold and it's very, very windy. That's me trying to give it throttle. So it just, the ESC won't go. Unless we have a, a, a wire that came undone again. Oh, we do. We do, we have a wire that came undone on the ESC. Let me see if I can get it plugged back in. I don't know why that plug keeps on coming undone, but uh, we'll try it again. One more time, I guess. See if we can actually lay down a good pass. I don't know, the way it's doing it during the run, it's weird. Just gotta keep on, keep on trying, never give up. All right. I just need one good pass. And here we go, easing on the throttle. Oh my gosh. Was that my GPS? Oh my God. I think that was my GPS that just flew off. Oh, and broke. No. Come on. What the heck happened? That wasn't even anything with the car. My GPS just exploded. Like an 80 or $90 GPS. I saw another piece of it flew somewhere over here. I gotta look for the front. The oh, here it is, right here. So what? It's broken now. It's completely broken. Whole front of this is gone now. I can't believe that. Is it? Is there another piece, or is that all of it? I don't even know. I do have another GPS with me. I don't know if it's as accurate. I guess I may as well put it on, but that's majorly disappointing. This is broken, it's destroyed. It's like I can't win. All right guys, I got that other GPS on. This is gonna be my last attempt. I've just about lost all patience at this point. All right, here we go. Killed our power. It did. Yep. Hit lip mode. Let's take it off the side, see what we picked up.
Yep, this has been a massive fail of a video. We only reached 54 miles an hour. We got a red blinking light. So unfortunately guys, this video has gone really, really bad. Um, I guess we ha we didn't crash, that's the one plus, but everything that could go wrong, it just seems like, seems like just tons of issues with the ESC and motor wires coming unplugged and just a disaster of a video. I suppose I'll upload it and uh, put something to together so you guys can watch it. But I just feel like, I feel defeated today, honestly. I feel super defeated. But I know we're definitely going to need a new ESC. This ESC cannot take this gearing, so I have to switch to something else. Uh, go ahead, put in the comments down below what you think I should go with. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Later.